Yo, what's going down, Commanders? I just want to go through these uh, rally techs and have a look. I've bought all three. I've attached them to three of the units, the separate units. So basically, the rally techs you can apply to, the stimulus pack you can put on Luke, Jenny, Arietta. I think I've got it on Jenny. Battle Cry, this is for survi uh, so yeah, survivors units. Is Mikey, Rick and Jeff. I've got my one attached to Jeff. And then the Machine God's Blessing, Laura, Dylan, Kayla. I've got mine attached to Kayla. So basically, this is what the text do. I can show you in the workshop. It gives you a better description, in fact, in the actual workshop itself. So if I go to these three units, bear with me for a second. So this is the one I've got it attached to for survivors. But by the way, guys, remember the units that you can attach them to. So survivors is Mikey, Rick and Jeff. Corpus is Luke, Jenny, Arietta. And the Sentinels is Laura, Dylan, Kayla. So basically this is the, stim, uh, the survivors battle cry. And if you read this here, by the looks of it, you get so many ammo, so many different reloads, sorry. So the first one grants equips unit gains 125 movement speed for four seconds. Cooldown is 60 seconds. You've got max ammo, ammo of them of five, but you've got to wait 60 seconds in between uses, I think. Then you've got uh, reload is 120 seconds. Grants uh, seconds grants the equip unit gains 50% increased damage rate of fire and reduced reload time for seven seconds. The big ones you want to look at is the, 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 the last ones, the one I'm going to read now. By the way, that one looks like it's got two two ammo slots and the cooldown is 120 seconds right the last one is reloads reloads 240 seconds grants equip unit the ability to call in a powerful reinforcements to the battlefield ultimate cooldown 600 seconds so it's 600 seconds is about 10 minutes before you can use it max ammo is three a uh, two sorry reload is 120 seconds that's sort of counted Call down is 600 seconds. I'll reload. So for <coughs> when you bring it back into your base, they've got to reload to 120 seconds, which is uh, 1,200 seconds, which is, what, 20 minutes, something like that. I don't know if my timing is correct on that, but it's somewhere like that. If I go back, I've then got the Corpus one on Jenny, which is grants... The first first one is grants equip unit 500 damage reduction for 10 seconds. Cooldown is 60 seconds. Max ammo is three of them. Uh, reload is 120 seconds. So what if the cooldown is it just double by the looks of it? Right, the next one is grants equip unit EMP weaponry for 30 seconds. Cooldown 120 seconds. Max ammo two. Uh, reload on that is 240 seconds. Again, it's double the cooldown right the third the third one is for 30 seconds increased damage done and movement speed by 100 percent cooldown 600 seconds max ammo two reload is 120 uh, 1200 seconds sorry that one don't look as good as the other two the, the third what the third uh ammo on them where is michaela there right kayla's is this is called the machine's god's blessing Right, first, first, tact, uh, I guess you call them tactics, is reduced damage taken by 30% for 10 seconds. Cool down 60 seconds, max ammo 3, reload is 120 seconds. The next tactic would be reduced rate of fire, increased reload speed by 40%, increased damage dealt by 100%, cool down 120 seconds, max ammo is 2, reload is 240 seconds. And the, the last one, is, which is quite a big one, I believe, Targets ground units with a selected area to deal devastating amounts of damage. It's like a normal hammer sort of PK that comes out of the sky. This third, that third tech. Cooldown is 600 seconds. You should get two of them before you need to reload. And then re reload times is 1200 seconds. So I've got them on the map and I'm going to test them. I'm not going to put them into anything hard. I want a base that's pretty close together so we can see what's going on. So basically just a 4 in 100. I'm going to bring in to start with, I'll bring them all in. And what I'll do is I'll select that. And then if I click there, these are the, you can click them here 
at this point so I can click that there and target or I can push the E key but you, you, the target's got to be within the, the range of the unit so once the range of the unit gets to there it should shoot this is the the uh, big big bomb that comes out of the sky so I'm going to click Q W E and then target and it should come down with a big bomb there you go you don't get to see much let's kill that just get that out of my way for a sec <coughs> so that that sped the unit up by the the whatever I just said in the last part basically right and the next one and let me kill these little things getting on my nerves the next one I'm going to try, I can't remember what this one is, but this is the corpus one. I think I'm going to run him in. Just down here. And then I'm going to go... 1, 2, 3, F. And just see what happens. Let's run over a couple of mines. It's got the 5... I think this one's got the 5,000 armour up. Okay, that's interesting. She's very fast. Right, let's get her out. Because I do want to test the last one. This one, the most important one again, is the third one. The one on the E key. That brings in a... I think it's a gunship. It doesn't actually tell you there, but it did on the other... Uh, on the actual patch notes, so it was a gunship. So again, I'm going to bring him down here. I'm going to tap E first this time. And I'm going to shoot that. There's the gunship. Can I control it? No, you cannot control the gunship. But that lasts for a minute, I believe. I'm just going to let that kill. Oh, that had a big splash there. I'm not sure how sure this is going to be viable in players' bases. I don't think it really will be. Because of the screamer, it might might do a job. It's something that I will have to test. As I say, I'm, uh, it's the first time I've used these tactics. He's actually going to kill that base, I think. And I can't remember what these other two tactics were. Battle cry grants equipped units fifty percent increased damage rate of fire and redu reduces reload time for seven seconds. And that one is 125 movement speed. I'm not going to use it in this place. I'm just going to kill that off and get out of here. We'll go find another base and do another bit of testing. So the for me, the Sentinel and the Survival one are probably the, the two better of the three. The corpus one, it only affects the unit. It doesn't give you anything extra. Uh, what can I? What can I kill? Can't. Why have they got war buds? I was going to use it in the. What's it? The Zeus base, but it looks like they spawned the war barge bases today. I don't want to put it into something that I know it's going to get. They're going to get killed because like, it's testing. So I won't be putting it into the uh, Hero Showdown to use. Bit like that metal will do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Survivors one. And I'm going to use, hopefully I'm going to be able to use all three tactics. Get them out of there. Select the survivor one. Looks, yeah, it looks like I can use them again. And what I'm going to do, bring him out here. And I'm going to tap on all three and then put him on fist. Oh, wrong one. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I want the survivors. So I'm going to tap Q, W, E, select, 
and then fist him. That plane seems to want to, it's got his own little mind, maybe, I don't know why he's not flying, that's it, that's better. Zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. I oh, know, maybe not. Zoom out. It looks like they, it's only going after vehicles, the plane. But the splash will kill turrets. Because look, it's not firing at anything now. There it goes at vehicles. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's... And you can't select the thing, so you can't change the... Maybe if I put Ruby on, it might work better. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. It's, it seems to just only hit vehicles. So it's not going to kill. No, that was the uh, Wasteland Hero. But it's, that's how you basically use these tactics. Is you've got, you can either click them at the bottom here. Or you can use the Q, W, E ones. Remember which is which. Which is, it's, it goes from the worst tactic to the best. So Q would be the worst one and E would be the best. On each, each three of the units, they're all the same. Let's go see what sort of reload time this is. I used two on the Wastelander and one of each on the... On the Corpus Hero and the uh, Sentinel, Kayla and Jenny. Right, so reload. So saving 14 minutes... Uh, Saving 35 minutes, 14 seconds would cost me two coin. This is a, this is a, Kickstarter's going to make money out of this big time. So so I can wait 35 minutes and two seconds, or I can coin it for two. And I've got 10 minutes damage on them. Let me take the Wasteland Hero out. Just to see how much, because I, I know you use two tactics. Oh, yeah, two times the tactics on that. Speed that up. Yeah, that's where the time is. 34 minutes, 37 seconds. That's gone up. I think it's getting it's confusing itself. So, hang on. It's confusing itself. I'm 99% sure of it. If I click that, that's probably gonna, that would have probably cost me about five, six coin. Where is she? Yeah, that one's 30 minutes on its own, or one coin. That one's 12 minutes. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll put them all together, see if it's cheaper for me to... So it's going to cost me about four coins. And let's see if it takes what it says it's going to take, or what I think it's going to take. So all four of them together. The reload is <coughs> 33 minutes, or two coins. I've got 100, 340 coin there. It took two. So reloading them all together may be cheaper than reloading them separately. That ain't too bad then, guys. That went, I know it's... I only did it for science. I wouldn't normally spend coin on that. I'd wait for 34 minutes. But I think I'll give you a little bit of a heads up on uh, this new tech, the way it works, how to use it. Obviously, I haven't done it in a proper base yet, but it's. I need to keep testing a little bit, get used to it. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget... If you do enjoy my content, subscribe, guys, because it does help me out. And I will see you next time. Ta-da.